coming to a seated pose on your mat today. Starting in a seated meditation, today we're going to do a fun full body flow, focusing on the legs, on the core, on the shoulders, arms, neck, head, everything. We love it. So just starting with a seated meditation to help us ground in our practice together. You can be in whatever seat is comfortable for you at this time, at this moment. And just start to focus on your breath, making sure that you have a nice posture as well, that your spine is long, your chest is opening forward, nice big heart opening here. Not too much so that you're arching the back really, but just enough that you feel your heart radi radiating out in front of you. Just take this moment to feel any sensations in your body, how you're feeling today emotionally, physically, energetically. Seeing if you can maybe elongate your inhales and exhales, just an extra second, making sure you're taking really nice, juicy, long, Bring our hands to our belly for a moment. Just focusing our breath in the belly region right now, practicing a breathing technique called belly breathing. Really nice name. Just pushing into your hands on your inhales, inflating your belly, exhaling, bringing the stomach back to center, contracting just a little. Trying to minimize the breath in your chest area just for a moment really help de-stress and relax the body and the nervous system. Slowly open your eyes. Scan your body for another moment here, seeing if you feel even a little bit more relaxed than when you first sat down on your mat. And we'll turn over onto our knees and ankles, starting up our joint warm up here, just to make sure all our joints are nice and warmed up, working on the mobility of them before we put any pressure on them. Our knees are together, our heels are together, and we're sitting on our heels, putting all the weight into your heels. One of my favorite poses. Really get into the sole of your foot, stretching out that whole area. It usually gets really tight from walking in shoes all the time, or maybe not from walking at all, if we're all home right now, so that. <laughs> Just take a second to do some nice head rolls in one direction. Releasing any tension from the neck, a little combo stretch here feet and the neck. And close your eyes if you're not already doing so, just to really feel what's going on as you move your neck around. If you feel any tightness in any part of your neck, maybe just stop in that one spot and just kind of like wiggle out that area. Maybe add a hand to your head, just to get a little bit deeper into that one spot that you have tightness. If you don't have tightness, just keep rolling. Just be aware of your body, even out of this class, when you're moving, if you feel any tension anywhere, just give one second to your body to try and heal that area, try and help that area release any stress or tension. And turn to the other side. Head. Again, checking for any tension in any part of the neck. 
Maybe just stopping for a moment, just wiggling out in that one spot. Hopefully your feet are doing okay since we're focusing a lot on the neck right now. Just know that when you practice this often, it gets easier and easier. Facts <laughs> from experience. <laughs> And we'll go to the opposite stretch now. Coming off of our heels, we're gonna bring our knees and feet together. Coming back onto our hands, stretching the tops of our ankles, lifting the knees. You can always close your eyes whenever you wanna go deep inside of your body and just feel what's going on from the inside instead of just looking or looking towards your surroundings. Just going deep inside and know that you can always choose the variation that suits you. You can stay up here with your legs on the ground and still get a nice top of the ankle stretch or on the tops of your fingertips or maybe even removing your hands, bringing your hands to heart center and just really crawling on the front of your ankle here in a gentle way without the help of your hips. Coming all the way forward onto your fingertips, coming into a cat cow now. I want to stretch that spine out. So inhale, lift the head, belly drops down towards the ground, opening the heart in between your arms, shoulders back, pressing into your hands and legs, feeling stable. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance and your knees are hips distance and not too close or too wide. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push into your hands, push into your legs, into your knees, squeeze your glutes, and push your whole body, your whole spine towards the sky. Coming into your cat pose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more at your own pace. You want to loosen up that whole spine from any tension. We're also warming up the wrist joints and the shoulders as well. Coming back to center, adding some circles here of the spine. A little more water-like movement here, just flowing in whatever circular motion you want with the spine. It can be super deep or maybe just really small circles articulating every movement in your circle. Whatever feels good for you right now. And change direction. Coming back to center, spreading your fingertips, grabbing the mat tightly with all your fingers so that if you're not wearing nail polish, then the tops of your fingers will turn white. Or even if you are wearing nail polish, you can kind of see it from the sides. Really want to make sure you're pressing into all those fingers, even the thumb and the index, which usually are the weakest in pressing, and we, we bring the weight towards the outside of our hands and to our wrists. So let's move it towards the thumb and the index. Start circling on the hands, big circles here. Moving weight onto our hands. Working on the mobility of our wrists, the strength in our wrists. Also connecting this movement to your breath. Make sure you're still breathing deeply. As you're circling, don't, don't lose that finger, that finger pressing into the ground. Sometimes when we add movement, our fingers will start to relax. So keep pressing into those fingertips. Then change direction. And go as far out in front of you as you can in your circle. Helping us find deeper ranges in our wrist mobility. Mm 
coming back to our regular tabletop, tucking the toes, lifting the hips up and back into our downward dog, first downward dog of the day. So maybe just shake it out here for a moment, wag your tail, walk out the legs, whatever you need to do to warm up those hamstrings that usually get super tight from not moving, maybe from sitting at a desk or a table or a couch all day. So you really want to warm them up before we go into more deeper um, stretches. Look forward, step, step. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, release. Gonna do a couple more stretches here before we enter our salutations. Also one of my favorite stretches. We're gonna press into our little toes and lift our big toe towards us. This is a very isolated toe stretch. And it's not really about muscles, it's more about the brain. So if you feel like it's super complicated and you're already sweating just from trying this, it's totally okay and normal. <laughs> Happens to everyone. Also, if your fingers are helping you in doing weird things, that's totally common as well. So check out your fingers to see what's going on there. We're really pressing into all the little toes and the big toe is coming towards you as much as possible. and switch, pressing into the big toes, into the ground, lifting the little toes, spreading them up towards you. Make sure when you're doing this one, you might think it's easier, but make sure your knees aren't also turning inwards, that your legs are still straight and forward. If it's complicated to do both at the same time, you can also do one foot at a time in your practice. And we'll roll the toes from the pinky to the big toe, toe rolling. Feeling super grounded in our feet, super activated in our toes and the soles and the heels, just everything working together, feeling strong in our base, our standing base. And opposite, big toe to pinky. Add some hip warm-ups here. Just circling the hips for a moment, keeping the legs straight. You probably feel what's going on here in your hip joint. Your muscles. Moving slowly, you don't have to do this too quickly. And change direction. Coming back to center, we're gonna do some isolated hip, um, hip joint warming up. So take up the right knee, just circle that right knee um, around, drawing a circle in front of you with the knee. You can be as big as you want or as small as you want. Already here, working on balance and the strength in our left leg while warming up our right joint. Change direction. And we're flexing in that right foot too. We want to activate the legs, feeling more stable and strong in our movements. Then release the leg, let's change sides. Grounding in the right foot, lifting the left knee, circling in one direction. And the other direction. Coming back to center, and we'll just shake it all out, letting the energy flow in and out of your body freely as it pleases. Coming to the top of your mat, big toe to big toe. We'll do two rounds on each side of a moon salutation, which is the Hatha sun salutation. Just going deeper into lunging, deeper and slower into our movements, no jumping, just flowing together. Inhale the hands up, 
upward hand posture. Make sure your knees are in lock. You have a nice little micro bend, keeping the weight of your body in the center. Inhale, look towards your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. You can keep the knees bent here if that's more comfortable or if you have any lower back pain. Usually in folds, you should keep the knees bent and work on a straight spine. Or you can keep the legs straight and just fold the head to the knees if that's comfortable for you. Inhale, we're gonna bring the left leg all the way back and look up, opening the throat as much as you can. Stretching the neck, activating our hormones. Exhale, come back to plank. And we're gonna come into eight limb pose. This means our knees will drop towards the ground and our chin will come in between our hands, a bit in front of them. So the hands are kind of in line with your shoulders and your chin is on the ground. Sliding towards the ground, inhale into a cobra. Pushing off the ground, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And the direction here isn't just to collapse backwards, it's up. We want to feel length in the spine here, even though we're entering a little back bend. And opening the heart completely forward. Tuck the toes, exhale into your down dog. Lifting your hips towards the sky. Feet hips distance, hands shoulder distance, moving the weight of your body towards your feet. Extra tip here, externally rotate the shoulder so that your elbows are more pointed towards the ground to really strengthen your pose here. If you can really feel that, your pose feels much more stable when you twist your shoulders outwards. Look in front of you, bring the left, left leg in between your hands. If it doesn't get there, you can help with the hands. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Again, opening that whole throat area. Exhale, big toe to big toe, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastiti, rest. Beautiful, other side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg comes back. Inhale, look up. Back to plank, hold your breath, drop the knees, exhale as you bring your chin towards the ground. Inhale into cobra, exhale into down dog. Look in front of you, bring that right leg in between your hands, drop your hips towards the ground, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastiti, rest. One more on each side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, lower down, forward fold. Left leg all the way back. Inhale, look up. Hold your breath, back to plank. Exhale, drop the knees, chin towards the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look in front of you, right leg all the way. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale. Inhale, rise, exhale, samastiti. I did the right leg, so we'll do opposite this time. Inhale, hands up, exhale down. Right leg back, and we'll end on the left. Inhale, look up. Back to plank, hold your breath, drop your knees, exhale, chin towards the ground. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left leg in between your hands. Drop your hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Take a moment to open up your body, hands and legs, close the eyes and just Feel this heat rushing through you, this energy rushing through you, just from a couple rounds of postures. It's a magical feeling. Doing any rounds of salutations is also a great full body stretch. It activates the entire body from the head to the feet. So if you ever, anytime in your life that you just wanna do 
a full body stretch really quickly. You can choose any of the salutations, look them up, and there you have it, a full body stretch. Okay, we're gonna open the legs into a wide stance, coming into goddess posture. Ideally, the, leg, the ankle should be right under the heel, but it's okay if the angle is a bit smaller. Make sure the feet are in line with the knees so that your knees aren't dropping inward. It's super important to protect the knee. Inhale the hands up. Exhale out the mouth, drop the hands. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Make sure you're switching the cross of your hands. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale. Inhale the hands up and hold. Activating your goddess power is connecting to your goddess energy. Make sure you're active in the core. Hugs are hugging in inward so you're not too much into a back bend, pushing your um, butt out. Tuck the butt forward, tuck the pelvis in the direction backwards. So we're protecting the lower back. Slowly bring your right elbow towards your right knee. And inhale, reach over, coming into a nice deep side bend as well here, a little combo pose. You know I love a good combo. One more deep breath here. Inhale, back to center. Lower the hips a little bit lower, don't die on them now. Coming down towards the left side, inhale that right hand overhead. Nice side bend here in the upper body and a deep hip stretch as well. Inhale back to center, exhale, hands to the heart center and inch the feet one by one towards the middle. Bringing the feet together. We're gonna enter one balancing posture to just activate our standing legs and our balancing power. Stranding in the left leg, we're gonna lift the right leg up to tree pose. You can bring the foot towards your inner thigh, to your shin, stay on the ground and then bring the foot towards your heel, or come by a wall if you need to. Many variations. Once you pick your variation, bring your hands to heart center. Start to focus on one point on the floor or the wall, your drishti, your one-pointed focus. Make sure the right knee is outwards and not forward, and that when you, when you bring it more outwards that you're not turning with your upper body. Upper body stays forward. Inhale slowly, bring the hands up, once you connect your fingers, see if you can lift a couple more centimeters up with your hands, with your spine growing in your tree posture. Feeling rooted in your left leg. Inhale, rise a little bit higher. Exhale, lean towards your leg with your hands. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left, to the other side, to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands down, heart center. And drop the leg, let's switch sides. Grounding in the right leg. We'll bring the left leg up to our variation of tree pose. Again, you have many variations and you can also do a different variation on each leg. It never has to be the same. Making sure the knees outwards, hips are forward, upper body forward, hands to heart center. Start to focus on your one point that's helping you balance your drishti. Make sure there's some nice contour pressure here between your foot and your standing leg at whatever variation you're in to make sure that you feel stable because if your foot's just on your thigh and you're not pressing up against each other, the foot will just keep sliding down. So make sure there's some nice pressure there at the connection. 
Inhale, the hands come slowly up. With control, maintaining your balance. Once your palms get together, reach a little bit higher in your hands, along your spine, space in between every vertebrae. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go towards your left leg. Side bend. Inhale, come up. Exhale, outwards to the opposite side, to the right side. Lateral bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands slowly come down your heart and drop your foot slowly. Nice. Inhale, the hands are going to come up. Interlace your fingers, coming into palm tree pose. Want to focus here on our calf muscles. Inhale, coming up to your tippy toes. Finding a place where you feel balanced. If your feet are too close and it's hard to balance there, you can open the ankle a bit. See what works for you. If they're closer, it'll be more difficult if you're looking for more of a challenge. Or you can keep them hips distance. Making sure your arms are strong and hugging your head. Your head is neutral here. Also tucking in the stomach, hugging the ribs like we like to do, protecting the lower back and not spilling the stomach forward, even though that might feel comfortable. Tucking it all in. Inhale, reach a little bit higher. And exhale, grab opposite elbows. And start to squat halfway, coming into a tippy toe, chair pose, arm up. Fun variation. Again, making sure your spine is long here, not too much into a back bend. Still on your tippy toes, working on those calf muscles, on that feet strength. Inhale, slowly come back up, release the hands. Exhale, switch hands, switch elbow holding of what you did before, one arm was in front and back, so switch. And slowly come back down, squeezing the knees together, if that helps you balance. And inhale back up, open the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Still on our tippy toes. And slowly start to squat down, coming into a toe balance. In your toe balance, you can stay here or feel free to challenge yourself, maybe bringing your hands to the ground for a moment and bringing one leg on top of your opposite thigh and releasing your hands. <sighs> Just playing around. You can stay in your neutral toe balance with the knees together, hands to heart center. This is challenging enough, but if you want an extra challenge, just know that you have that. If you did one leg, change sides. Bringing the left to your other thigh. And slowly lifting your hands up. <laughs> and coming back to center. Bringing the hands forward and finding your tabletop again. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Gonna add some fun tiger movements here, activating the core now in the back. Knee to nose, exhale, right knee. Inhale the right foot to your head. That's the direction here. Don't open up the right knee outwards, upwards. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, foot to head. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more at your own pace. Make sure the leg is going up straight so we're activating those glutes real nicely. On your next inhale, we're going to meet with the leg up. You can stay here or try to challenge yourself bringing your left hand towards your foot and entering tiger pose, connecting to your inner tigress or tiger. 
kick into your hand and lift that leg and hand up. Make sure you're focusing at one point on the ground, your drishti here to help you balance. And slowly release. Let's change sides. Left knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, left foot to head. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. A couple more at your own pace. On the next inhale, we're meeting up with the leg up. Again, feel free to stay here. This is also doing a lot of work. Or bring your right hand towards your foot for an extra balance challenge. Coming into tiger pose. Kick into your hand. Focus on that point in front of you, lifting the leg up and the hand up. Beautiful tigers. Exhale, come back down. Take a moment in child's pose. Bringing your forehead towards the ground. You can keep the hands in front of you or hold your ankles, bringing the hands by your side. Whatever you prefer. Gonna take 10 deep breaths here. It's a great pose for releasing any tension or stress from the back, any pain, any tightness. The whole back is spreading outwards, so it's, real, it's a really good pose for the back. It's also an amazing pose for the knees, which is less spoken about. When we close the knee like this, we stop the blood flow just for a moment, and then when we get out of the posture, the circulation rushes through like if you can imagine opening a dam, which is something you practice in yin practice a lot, stopping circulation and then flowing it immensely when you leave a posture. So this is a great pose for the knees and the back. Inhale, place the hand back down on the ground, coming back to your tabletop pose. Tuck the toes underneath, and we're gonna lift up into a plank. From your tabletop, you should enter a perfect plank here. Your hands are beneath your shoulders, your knees are, your knees are beneath your hips, tucking the toes, and just lift the knees up. That should be your perfect plank. Take a moment here in your plank, lifting your body up, making sure you're aligned here and not too much sinking or too much lifting. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, drop the right knee towards the ground. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, left knee towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more at your own pace.
Slowly come back to center. Inhale deeply. Exhale, drop down towards your stomach. Woo! We're gonna come into Sphinx Pose here, so the hands will be in front of us. Parallel to each other, which is super important, because sometimes we don't even realize when our hands are more um, towards the center and our elbows are more outside. So really look at your arms for a moment and see if they are parallel to each other. The elbow should be beneath the shoulder or a little bit more in front. Press into your fingertips like we did in the beginning of our practice in our tabletop pose. And press into your hands to open your heart forward, lengthen your upper back, and look up slightly. You don't need to look up all the way back. Just slightly up. We're gonna take 10 deep breaths here. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. You're pressing to the elbows to get that shoulder away from the ears. And there should be there should be no compression in the lower back. If you do feel any compression, you can bring the hands out a bit further in front of you so there's less of an angle here. Slowly lower down, bringing the hands by your chest, coming into cobra. Inhale the chest all the way up. Hands should still be beneath the shoulders or a little bit in front of you. Look up, push the shoulders away from your ears, opening your heart forward, coming into a nice back bend here. Deep breaths. Inhale, look up a little bit higher. Exhale, turn towards the right, coming into a twisted cobra, looking towards your feet. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, slowly lower down. We're going to come into locust pose now to focus specifically and isolating just on our lower, on our back string. So bring your hands out in front of you. Legs are behind you. Try to keep them as tight as possible, close together. The forehead can be on the ground and you can work here from a neutral uh, neck if that's more comfortable, or you can look forward if you feel no strength. We're gonna inhale and lift the right hand and the left leg. It should feel like someone's pulling your hand away from you and your leg away from you. It's not so much in the lift, it's more in the pull outward. The lift is also important, but the pulling outward is the action we really wanna feel here. You're breathing deeply. And slowly lower down. Let's switch sides. Inhale, left hand and right leg up. Pulling one away from each other. Deep breaths here. See what happens in your posture as you're breathing. Feeling more grounded and lifting up with every breath. One last deep breath, and exhale, release. Doing all of them together now. Inhale, hands and legs up. Everything pulling away from each other. You should feel this completely isolated in your back right now. Major back strength building, building posture. Keep pulling away from each other. Don't loosen up. And slowly release. 
back down towards the ground. Let's flip our posture and turn onto our backs. <sighs> Bringing the legs in, um, hips distance, enough so that you can touch your heel, but not too close so that you're really grabbing your heel. Neck is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, hands come by your hips, entering a low bridge posture. Inhale the hips up. <sighs> Gonna take 10 deep breaths here. Make sure you feel no strain in the lower back. If you do, tilt your pelvis up. And instantly you should feel your lower back release from the posture. Pressing into the feet here, making sure your feet are active. Going as deep as you feel comfortable, as high as you want. Even binding hands and going even a bit deeper if that's in your practice or staying here, this neutral bridge. And slowly lower down. Lifting the legs up to 90 degrees. Gonna enter a shoulder stand here. You can choose to go into a low bridge again. If shoulder stand isn't in your practice or you don't feel comfortable doing it, um, you can do a bridge again or just sit in this 90 degrees posture. This is also really good for the circulation um, to come back down to your upper body. If you're joining me in shoulder stand, we're gonna lift up. Make sure your head is in the center. You don't have to look at the screen. If it's to the side of you, just listen to my voice. If you can, lower the hands lower and lower in the direction of your ribs. So you can find that even straighter angle here with your legs. Breathing deeply, you should see with your own eyes your core being activated on every exhale keeping you stable and strong in your shoulder stand. Squeeze the legs together, all of your whole, both of your legs are activated as well. And slowly lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae, using your core strength. Get you back into that 90 degree angle that we started in. And lower the legs down, bringing the knees towards the chest. You're gonna grab each knee with your hands and circle the knees outwards and inwards. Releasing any tension in that hip joint. And changing direction. Center, keeping the hands on your knees. We're going to inhale and push the knees away from us. Exhale, pull the knees towards us. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. Next exhale, bring the knees as close as you can to center and coming in between your legs to grab the outside of your feet, coming into happy baby, pulling the legs up. The legs aren't straight here, they're bent. The soles of the feet are towards the ceiling and we're pulling the soles of the feet downwards in the direction of an arrow just down as if we want our knee to get to the ground. Probably won't happen, but that's the direction. Nice, yummy deep breaths here in this juicy hip opener. Put a smile on your face, channeling your inner happy baby. Rock side to side as well. 
your little added back massage. Lower the leg down slowly down toward the ground, straight in front of you. We're going to enter our last posture, the recline deep twist, such a nice um, stretch for the back. Inhale the right knee towards your chest. Maybe circling the ankle for a moment just to add a little extra ankle stretch mobility working here. Change direction. Bring that right knee towards the left side, all the way down towards the ground. Right arm comes out towards your right side and look towards your right hand. The goal here is to get your knee on towards the ground, onto the ground, as well as keeping your shoulders on the ground. Letting your body release completely into this nice deep twist. From here we'll bend the left leg, the leg that's underneath that's straight, so that both the knees are bent now. We're going to take our right hand and grab our, our left foot. It should look like this. I'm doing it from the side, but it's like that. And still look towards your right side. Just a fun variation. Adding a bit of a quad stretch towards the left leg. Slowly come back to center. Realign your body on your mat. Let's switch sides, bringing the left knee towards our chest, giving it a nice hug, circling the ankle in one direction, and then to the other direction. And then we'll take that left knee and bring it all the way towards the right side. Open our left hand towards the left side and look towards our left hand. Taking a couple of deep breaths here before we move into our variation. Bend that right leg that's underneath, and grab it with your left hand, grabbing the foot, still looking towards your left side, taking a couple more deep breaths here in this variation. Shavasana is a great posture for the mental health 
in this full body flow. It can be so hard for us to just stop everything and completely release into a posture without adjusting or moving or itching or scratching or opening the eyes. So it's a great challenge for the mind to just release inwards and give the body this proper time to heal and to relax. for as long as you want. I wish we could stay in our Shavasana together for another 30 minutes or weeks and days and months. If not, we're just going to meet in a comfortable seat, keeping our eyes closed, just feeling the movement of our body, and what it does to get from laying down to sitting up in a comfortable pose. Turn to your normal breath. Feel your nice long spine, stretched out body, powerful body. All this space in your lungs for a beautiful deep breath. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.